Welcome back. This is We Ride Rotos. And my name is Glenn. And I'm Carrie. Okay, in this episode, we are going to leave Bormio, where we stayed last night after we finished the Stelvio Pass the day before, and we're going to head down to, ultimately, Antibes, France. It's going to cover three days this episode, uh, but this uh, this first part, we're going to go to Berize, which is in Italy, which isn't too far away. It was a bit of a rainy... It wasn't a bit of a rainy day, it was... Pouring. It did. It rained a lot. We finally hit, I don't even know where it was. We just saw a little town. I was cold and yeah. we were wet and it was... We saw, um, we were looking for a coffee, the little Village. villages. We could not find yeah. one. So finally we saw a mall. It's like, yeah. let's just go in there and... If nothing else, we were going to get out of the rain. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We, we wear uh, vented gear over there and we have rain jackets, light ones that fit underneath, so we weren't wet, Yeah, it but was, it was cold. Yeah, and it's just kind of yucky yeah. in the rain. So anyways, we sat at this table probably for a good hour and a half. Yeah, um, we had a big pond underneath us when we left. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> all over the place. So by the time we were done there, the rain had lifted yeah. and off we headed. It was still a little bit cloudy and rained on and off yeah. as we... So the interesting thing is that we wanted to we wanted to do the west side of Como Lake because we we'd been over uh, not on the full east side but from from Como the town or the city we went north to Bellagio and it was nice it was a cool little run along the side of the lake it was you know you couldn't go fast but it was fun and nice views and over we kind of thought hey you know we'll go down the west side maybe we'll see who's that actor that everybody George oh, Clooney George he lives Clooney, around yeah. there somewhere but he made a no show. <laughs> But, uh, you know, for the most part, it was just a bunch of tunnels. It Lots was of tunnels. Tunnel after tunnel after tunnel, which today, when it was pouring rain, yeah. was nice. But, yeah. but, you know, not much of a view. Kind of boring. And you had to get off, off and right in the tunnel was the way to get off to go into the town. So you took another merged out of the tunnel into another yeah, tunnel. That you don't have any visual clues or cues other than there's a sign saying turn off and I sometimes it's in the middle of the tunnel sometimes it's right at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, and I think the little town we were headed for we actually missed it yeah. so we had to turn around once we got out of the tunnel and then go back. Yeah I think yeah. we did a couple detours. We wanted to warm up have lunch get another coffee so we turned off into this little town called Menaggio. Probably saying it wrong. But anyway, it's across the lake from Bellagio. Yeah. So we rolled into town and uh, as we always do, appreciate the motorcycle parking, which is very convenient. 99th of the Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right in, right right on from the, the shore square. of the lake. Yeah. And, it was yeah, great. Perfect, perfect spot. It was great. Yeah, we got off, parked the bike, got off, toured around a little bit. It's, uh, I think it's a lavender harvest. Well, it must be lavender harvest. Oh. Mm -hmm. It must be lavender harvesting season because... They've got... I think July, early July and August. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they, so we're just catching the end of it. Yeah, they have all the products that they need to that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we walked around a little bit, sat down, got a bite to eat, and then jumped on the bike. And we thought we'd avoid the highways, took some of the, the roads through town. But of course, it's a lot slower because, you know, it's, you're going through town. Either on the highway in the tunnel or flow in the town. Yeah. So we, we kind of did both. Yeah, did it both. Of 
quick run around Como. We didn't go into Como, just took the highway around it and then ended up in Barise mm -hmm. for no particular reason. I think it was just the town we picked yeah. on, on route. We we're on, we're actually moving on our way into Spain to meet mm -hmm. with some friends, which will be happening in a couple episodes, I think. We'll, we'll hook up with them. So yeah, we just uh, toured around and then it was our one of our favorite parts about Italy is mm -hmm. aperitivo time. That's right. Yeah, you can't beat it. We're going to be leaving Italy, so we have to make sure. Yeah, if you go to Italy, last, uh, figure out aperitivos because yeah. they're a good deal. Get our last few in. <laughs> day two of the three-day ride, we're leaving Barise to Turin. And this is a really short ride. It's like, I don't know, 50, 60 kilometers. Mm -hmm. I don't, know. I don't know why we didn't even do it yesterday. It makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, we didn't. Maybe we were cold and wet and just called it quits. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. So that's like months ago. <laughs> anyway, so we got into got into town, toured around, um, parked the bike. Turin was an interesting city. It had lots of public squares. Like you just walk from one to the other and they were all so busy. Uh, people about and I don't know if it was the weekend I was trying to the odd phone call I think I phoned my parents I think you're trying to talk to your mom and in the middle of somebody's the got the bongos going and they're oh, yeah. on super loud mode and yeah they knew how to have a good time there so it was it was an interesting uh, city uh, we had underground parking in this one that we had to pay for we couldn't get any parking near the near where we parked the bike. Uh, I think I parked it earlier and in a cramped little spot. But here's a tip trip. A trip <laughs> tip? Come on, what? Maybe by the time this series is over, I'll be able Maybe. to say that. Uh, I parked the bike in the park aid, left it sitting there, it was all great. And later, like a few hours later, I'm like, couldn't find my keys. <laughs> Went all the way out, down the street, into the underground parkade, and every vehicle that got in this parkade passed our bike, and guess where my keys were sitting? On the seat of the bike. Uh, it could have become an instant hiking holiday. Yeah, that's right, uh, backpacking. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a dumb move. Anyway, mm -hmm. toured around Turin, saw a few sights, and once again, aperitivo time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, today we're leaving Turin and going to Antibes. We're going to be crossing over the border into France today. Um, we don't like taking the main highways, so... We... I don't like to pay tolls. No, because we were being <laughs> um, frugal, we yeah. got a route that avoided all the tolls and all the highways and it took us on a very interesting road today. We weren't hadn't planned it and it just kind of worked out, but man, it was... Yeah, so if you want a good drive, it's called, in Italy, it's SP255. It's considered one of the dangerous roads, probably because it's basically one lane wide up the side of a mountain. Yeah, and on the, the Italy side. The grades that go between 7 and 14 percent. And uh, yeah, but it's a fun little ride. Yeah, it took us up into the mountains. It was a very unique kind of landscape up there. And when you hit the summit, eventually, it's called the, uh, I'm going to hope I get this, Col de la Lombarde, mm. something like that. You know me in pronunciation. <laughs> but there's a big statue up there. The goat? Was it a goat? Some kind of animal. Yeah. I couldn't find any information out about it. It's, oh. I couldn't find anything. And, hmm. and even there's what I can only assume to be old military structures up there. Yeah. I couldn't really find anything about it. So if you know anything, throw it in the comments yeah. and... Be we can to know. add it in somehow, but but really nice ride. The Italian side was one lane. Mm -hmm. uh, the French side was a little nicer. It was it was a little wider, so it wasn't quite as sketchy. It went at down times. into a ski hill right away on the French side. So yep. then they had going out of the ski hill. They had really a yeah, much, it was a much nice, better road. It was a nice road going yeah. out.
And as we dropped in elevation, it got warmer and warmer. Mm -hmm. So when we finally to the coast. <laughs> rolled into Nice, which is on the French Riviera, yeah. uh, busy as you would expect it to be. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Yeah, we didn't stop. We, we'd been to Nice years and years ago. So mm -hmm. we just rolled through, got to Antibes, and then that was pretty late we got in. I think we just had a snack, went to bed. Yeah. And then the next day we hiked around town and took a few sights. And yeah, it was, nice. it was nice being on the coast. They, it was a port, a port town, so they yeah. had some very nice yachts. And, oh yeah, some, and there's some money there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they have a big fort there that's star-shaped, but I don't know, for whatever reason, we have no photos of it other than the oh, one. Oh yeah, it was closed, so we couldn't go in it, but we did walk around it. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say we had aperitivo time, but mm. it's not Italy, so it's not aperitivo yeah. time, but whatever they call it in France. We found a great little sushi restaurant. Oh, it was very spectacular good. sushi. Yeah, that was, that was very good. Highlight of the day. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's, that's the end of this episode. Tomorrow, we are going up into lavender country. We are, and the Verdun Gorge that we're gonna see and then I'm gonna find a nice little hilltop town to stop for lunch so cool that's what we'll be doing tomorrow see you tomorrow